Today, Grade 12, so welcome to another lesson with Kumalo M on Economic Geography, Grade 12. Today, Grade 12, so we are going to be looking at food security and food insecurity. But before I start, I hope you have enjoyed the previous lesson where we are talking about agriculture. We are looking at maize, we are looking at the factors affecting agriculture in South Africa that are the factors that hinder, the factors that favor agriculture in South Africa. So today we look at food security and food insecurity in grade 12. Now, if you have not uh, watched the previous lesson, go to my YouTube channel, Geography with Kumalo M, and watch the lesson. Trust me, you are going to gain more knowledge and you are going to be able to answer questions that are from the exam or when you are practicing in preparation for the trial or the final examination. So today, Kritov, as I said, that we are going to look at food security and food insecurity. Just to outline, this is an extract from your examination guideline, which is a very important document, Kritov, as you've seen that since I've started, I've been talking about what we call the examination guideline. So for your exam, what do you have to know in this topic? The definition of food security and the definition of food insecurity. Then we are going to look at the importance of food security in South Africa, why food security is important in South Africa, the factors influencing food security, what are the factors, whether the negative factors that are affecting this industry of uh, uh, supplying food in South Africa. And then we look at strategies to improve food security in South Africa. Then we look at the case studies that are related to food security and food insecurity to expect those types of questions in your exam that are in form of case studies. Now, so food security is when all the people in a country have access to adequate, safe and nutritious food for a sustainable living. So it is very important, grade 12, that you understand that the key words to this definition of food security, it is adequate and nutritious food. So they must be have, they must have an access to adequate, safe and nutritious food. So those two phrases, they must be in your definition. Uh, 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 bear in mind when you define that all those two uh, 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 concepts, they must be in your definition when you define food security. And then food insecurity is an opposite of food security. That is when most uh, when most of the people in a country do not have access to adequate and safe nutritious food. So it's an opposite of what we call food insecurity. So food security is when all people in a country have access to adequate food or safe nutritious food for sustainable living and then food insecurity is when most of the people in a country do not have access to adequate safe and nutritious food for sustainable living then we move here yeah, i've just given you a map of south africa where i the number one, two, three, I've settled the three places there on the east coast where now we see that there is a high food insecurity in South Africa. So you will also be uh, 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 given statistics as graphs. As you can see, the blue graph represents 2011 food insecurity in 2011 and the, the orange one represents in 2016. So it's just to show you a statistics that you can work with. Security. Now look at also this pie chart that shows that uh, food efficiency and food uh, sufficient. So uh, you can see here it's based on children. Now here on children you can see that here there was a uh, more sufficient food than uh, food insufficient. But now you also look at uh, the, 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 the household food security status of adults, then you can see that there is food sufficient uh, uh, more than the children, uh, uh, um, what we call sufficient, uh, food sufficient. So it's just a, a data that I just want you to know how to work with. Now, what is the importance the importance of food security in South Africa. Sometimes they cannot say what is the importance. They will ask you what is the significance of food security in South Africa. We know that it creates jobs, poverty reduction, it reduces poverty, 
the, it impacts positively on teaching and learning. Obviously, learner, uh, you can study or you can learn without food when you are hungry. Uh, it reduces poverty, as I've said. It has a positive uh, social impact uh, in, in our lives. It promotes economic development and it causes less pressure on health systems. As we know that we can get sick uh, you can get things like malnutrition and other diseases if we are not having nutritious food or healthy food. The factors that are affecting food security in South Africa. So now here we look at what are the main causes that we do not have sufficient food in South Africa. That will be poverty. Now the lack of buying power. So less number of people are able to buy food from uh, the shops. The climate change increases natural disasters such as drought. So the natural disasters also contribute to the lack of food, uh, uh, the inability to have food, sufficient nutritious food in our country. Now, limited fertile soil, uh, which we can also call arable. So there is less fertile soil in South Africa. The inflection rate, when prices go up, the food prices go up, it, be, it makes those who are disadvantaged, who are not working, not to afford food, to buy food. Poor farming techniques that can damage fertile soil. So uh, when we, 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 when the farmers do not know how to farm, or uh, 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 people tend to farm without the knowledge of farming techniques, it leads to food insecurity. Then unemployment is another one that involves unemployment. When you are unemployed, you can't purchase food. The strategies to improve food security in South Africa, grade 12, what can we do uh, to address food uh, 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 security in South Africa? We can look at genetic modified food, the food that has been genetically modified. You have seen videos uh, uh, modifying food. I'm just going to put on the YouTube also the video where we talk about where I show you food uh, modified uh, in the laboratories. Now, food promote food gardens, bigger food products due to uh, genetic food, increased access to job to jobs and affordable housing. So they increase the, 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 the access to jobs so that people can have buying power. The government can invest in local food farms and local economies, support the social movement, strengthen the government nutrition programs as they do in school they provide you with food policies and practices that reduces climate change the right to nutritious food for all so these are some of the strategies that you can use to address or to improve food security in south africa i hope and i I, I believe that you have understood food security. If you have not heard me very well, you can rewind the video, play it time and time again, and share the video with your schoolmates, your classmates, share with anyone you know that is doing geography in 2023. I hope you understand this topic. Go to my YouTube page, subscribe, grade 12, and uh, 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 like and share the video. Till we meet again, with me, Kumalo M, The Geography, Sangoma. Till we meet again, thank you so much.